Hey. Hey, man, I'm Jackson. I'm Kurt. Nice Good to meet you. you. So, I assume you've got a cat. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, Curtis Jr. All these years, I've never had someone name oh, wow. their cat after them. Yeah. Okay, so, Curtis Jr. He's uh, destroying everything. Toilet paper, paper towels, magazines, boxes, any type of paper, anything. Yeah. He attacks it, he chews it up and spits it out. I was raised with uh, cats and dogs. And I've never had them, like, attack paper towels and toilet paper and stuff like that. I've never You are had, lucky. Like, if I have food on the counter, he'll run up and start eating the food. What I'm hearing is the most ordinary cat stuff. This guy tells me he grew up with cats. I want to know what kind of cats he grew up with. He destroyed my couch. Yeah. Even though I have a scratching post for him. I'm not sure that we have a cat from hell, but I'm pretty sure we have a couch from hell. That thing's got to be gone, and I mean like yesterday. I want to get a new couch, but I don't feel like I can get one. I don't want to declaw him. Oh, that takes us in a totally different direction. Because if you're going there, that means you're already sort of at the end of well, your rope, I, yeah? Yeah, you're my last straw, that's why I have you here. So if I didn't show up today... I'd probably get him declawed, yeah. No, no, I never want to hear you talking about declawing, ever. It's a pretty barbaric thing, and something that, as far as I'm concerned, should be illegal. The couch ain't worth it. You know, you got a cat who scratches. They all do, and they have to. It's an absolute necessity. They have to exercise this part of their chest. They have to rid themselves of the dead pieces of nail. It's the thing that makes them feel secure about themselves. Ah, that's me. So I would have you start looking at what you can do for him. Ask not what your cat can do for you. Ask what you can do for your cat. First of all, let's point out exactly what makes you crazy. Okay. So look at this, exhibit A. Look at this. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? That's really friggin' annoying. Look, he's ruined the paper towel. And then, like, I have food. Like, one time I had blueberries, and he gets up here, and he knocked all the blueberries all over. And then I had lunch meat up here, and I went to the bathroom, and he'd eaten all the lunch meat. And then he proceeded to puke it all up on the floor. It's like, ugh, gross. So you have had cats, right? Yeah, I was raised with cats. I can't believe that. We can't bend an animal's characteristics around our needs to have blueberries sitting on a counter. You see this look mm -hmm. that I'm giving you right now? Mm -hmm. That's the sort of incredulous, like, I, I don't, I mean, I can give you tools mm -hmm. and stuff like yeah. that. I don't know that that's enough. This Are you trying to is. tell me that I'm not a cat person, I shouldn't have a cat? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Really? I was born and raised with cats and dogs. Curtis, if you are to the point where you're gonna declaw your cat mm. because you've got a side of your couch, blueberries, paper towel, and some lunch meat, then I, you, I'm having a hard time. And I kind of take offense to that because I love animals, so. You can bet that I am not gonna leave here today without telling Curtis Sr. exactly what it means to declaw a cat. I guess because my parents always got the cats declawed, so I'm not used to this. It's making sense. I mean, he had declawed cats, that's why he always had intact paper towel. There is no good enough reason to declaw a cat, but the least of them are paper towel. Grab that scratching okay. post for me. Now, let's look at the differences here. <laughs> You're uh, laughing. Well, I guess it's pretty small and rinky dainty. Dainty is the word. <laughs> I would yeah. love to spend some time with Kay Jr. here. You said he's under the bed? Yeah. Let's see where he's at. Curtis. Holy Curtis. I know, right? I am so scared to look under this bed. Here we go. I am pulling out bins and all kinds of nasty. Hey, Junior. And none of those things contain a cat. Don't judge me with what you see under the bed, all right? Curtis Sr. needs to block the unders so that Curtis Jr. can't hide under this gnarly bed. I don't see him. There's one other hiding spot. Let me check. Here he is. Oh, for God's sake. I just inhaled a year off my life, and he's not under the bed. Hi. Well, there's Curtis Jr. Hello, my little man. Curtis Jr. is sweet, he's cute, and he's not completely terrified. It makes me think that his social anxiety is something we can work with, because there's something about him that's saying, I'm scared, I'm not petrified. I am adoring your cat right now. Jackson kind of reassured me that my cat isn't as emotionally unstable as I thought he was. So I'm really glad to hear that. Back in the kitchen, mm -hmm. I think I insulted you, mm -hmm. right? I know you've got a good heart when it comes to your cat. I know you do, I can tell. 
All of today's strangeness here aside, we have got to find a way to give Curtis Jr. a bigger, less fearful life. And we've got to find a way to get Curtis Sr. on board with being a more giving guardian who's not afraid to compromise for his cat. So, homework. Okay. For Kurt and Kurt Jr. The first thing, environmental enrichment. This is a small place. Right. You gotta put yourself in his paws for a second. If I were him, what would I want? No living being should be under this. Okay, anchor. all right. Okay. <laughs> Nobody. Okay. So I'd like you to block off the unders. Okay. I also want you to get a scratching post. He needs something that is bigger. You want him to be able to reach all the way up. Okay. Grab and pull down. Also think up here. Okay. okay. It could be as simple as a $5 shelf that you put up. Now he can jump from here to here, from here into that windowsill. I want him to be able to look out the window. I want to get into routines. If you get up in the morning and you invest literally 10 minutes in playing with him, you won't be doing that stuff. Okay. Cats just need routine in a big bad way. Now here's an expectation I have of you. I want you to get a new couch. I want you to trust your cat, get the new scratcher, and you just take double-sided sticky tape just for the first week or so on your new couch. He's gonna touch it, he's gonna go, ugh, that's gross. Oh, I have a scratching post. Okay. He will go for it. I'm gonna do everything that Jackson suggested, but I am still freaking out about if I get a new couch or not, and he'll scratch it, but I'm gonna try it out, so hopefully it'll be good. You've been talking about declawing your cat if he doesn't shape up, and it alarms me. When you declaw a cat, see how we have claw? Mm -hmm. And then we have this first digit here, right mm -hmm. there? Okay, right there, snip. The whole bone what? at the first digit, cut. It is amputation of every digit on his little paws. I didn't know that. Now That's crazy. I'm gonna tell you, it's a barbaric surgery. I had no idea. I feel like I'm a terrible pet owner, even considering getting my cat declawed. I'm going to uh, take my leave of the two of you. I'll be back in a few weeks. All right. Say bye. Bye. Big Kurt, he's just got to realize that the life he's giving for his cat is not enough to have expectations that he won't tear up toilet paper, paper towel, knock blueberries off the counter, and eat his lunch meat. And if I come back next time and he hasn't done anything, I expect we're going to have an entirely different conversation, one that involves him not having cats. <laughs>